out on the foxes again tonight. I'm running the 17 HMR with a little Hick Micro Panther and my Faithful 223 with the Trail 2 on top of her. Uh, the reason for two calibers is that the foxes have been in all sorts of different areas on this property. Um, in and around the buildings, so the 17 HMR is going to be the safest option there. The last thing I want to do is cause any damage to the infrastructure. So less chance of a pass through or a ricochet. And then I'll use a 223 for out on the flats and in these open paddocks down behind the camera. Um, I'm hoping to put the caller out just after dark and call the foxes in out of those open flat areas down near the river and dispatch them with the 223. But any of the sneaky ones that come out around these buildings are going to cop it with the 17. Anyhow, it's just about to get dark. I'm going to finish getting set up and hopefully get stuck into them. Well, talk about unexpected. I've just set the tripod up and was going to uh, walk the caller out. I had a quick look with the handheld and saw a fox down amongst the cattle. Uh, you'll see in the thermal footage, it sort of crosses the, the driveway and heads over towards that timber. I gave it a couple of mouth squeaks and to no avail, uh, it sort of disappeared. So I thought I'd quickly trot out and put the caller out and see if I can call this fox up to it. And I'm 10 to 15 meters away from the rifle and I'd be stuffed, but the bloody fox starts walking up the fence line. Walks right up to, uh, I don't know, five metres from the rifle. I snuck over and um, it just stood there and watched me. Uh, so obviously a very young, dumb fox. And uh, she gave me enough time to get onto the rifle. And uh, as she started to walk away, I gave her a little lip squeak. She pulled up and put one into her at about, I don't know, 15, 18 metres. Uh, shot a little bit low, uh, as you'd expect with the, the three inch gap between the center of bore and center of scope. But um, yeah, in the heat of the moment, the fox down. Um, yeah, totally unexpected. Let's go and have a look at her. So I was right here. My rifle was right there. And the fox was right there near that post. So I managed to sneak up behind the rifle put the architect down, get on her, and uh, pulled her up about here. And she took off down the track a bit. Spray everywhere. She bled out just there. So, little vixen. Yeah, full-size fox. So, just stupid. Anyhow, I will go and put the caller out and see if we can do it the traditional way. Well, unfortunately, the caller works on the cattle. There's a caller just there. The bloody cattle are coming from everywhere. So I just changed the call, and I had a fox just come legging it around this corner. I've got the caller sitting just there on the fence post. And a fox prop right there in front of me. I can see it with the, the naked eye. There's just enough moonlight. And it ran off through that fence, pulled up just out there, about 50 metres, anyhow, get a load of this. Well, not a bad evening. I ended up with four. Um, that's all that I saw and managed to get all four of them, which was great. Had that first one um, catch me by surprise. This big fella came running around the corner and uh, 
shot him as he ran off into the paddock. Uh, this one came into the caller again. I moved the call, um, put it about 200 metres further away and set up another stand. And this one came out of the long grass and uh, poked its head up at about, probably about 80 metres. And um, that was a vixen as well. Then fortunately, just before I was about to pack up, as the rain started, I had a fox trotting through the paddock. Uh, I haven't gone and collected that one yet. It's getting a bit wet. So um, I've had a pretty good night, all in all. Hopefully this will address the issue that they've been having here. Uh, if not, more than happy to come back and do it all over again. Anyhow, if you uh, enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and I'll catch up with you next time.